Hi everyone, I'm Tracy. And I'm Andy. And today we probably have the most important guest of all time because we have the Bachelor himself, Nico! Hi. Welcome. Yeah. Hello. It's the show about this guy that we do, and here he is. What? This is very meta. Yeah, well, this is my cubicle. What do you think? I look back and watch this and I ask myself, do I not know how to button my pants or? <laughs> so first of all, you just met Ellen. So how great, was right? it? it was amazing. Fresh off the show. Bangirling. It was just announced that Rachel's gonna be the next Bachelorette, which we have been predicting yep, on Bachelor Recap. It. We've been saying it. But what do you think? I mean, it's, she's making history. She's gonna be the first black Bachelorette. I wanna get your yeah. take. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's bittersweet, right? Because like saying goodbye to her sucked. I think she's gonna be an amazing Bachelorette. Right, period. And, and I think it has really nothing to do with the fact that she is black. Right. She knows how to have a great conversation. She can own a room. I think she's gonna have a bunch of guys feeling very fortunate and very lucky that she's the Bachelorette. Yep. So we're gonna play a game. Yep. I don't know if you can smell the air, but there is whiskey. Honey whiskey, oh, regular whiskey. I have some beer, we got rosé. I mean, what's your, what's your poison? I'm a whiskey guy. Okay, whiskey. And I'm a whiskey girl. Oh. And I like ah. my beer. Okay, so today we're gonna play a game called Bachelor Tell All or Alcohol. So here's how it works. So basically, we're gonna ask you a question, and if you wanna answer it, you can answer. And if you don't want to, we all have to drink. Okay, we all do. We're all in the yeah, same we're a team. team. Let's do one just to warm up. Let's get her going. Make sure we're getting real honest. I can't believe I'm taking a shot with you. I can't believe I'm taking a beer with you. I don't drink a lot of beer, but I can slam a beer so can Andy faster either. than anyone. Oh, Wait, no. that's a challenge. That sounds like a challenge. Oh, oh You won. won! You won. Damn it. Who out of anyone in Bachelor Nation are you the most attracted to? Ali Fedotowski. Oh, yeah. She's yes. a very beautiful, classy, yeah. smart sure girl. Is. What was your most awkward date this season? I mean, it was the date I sent Liz home. Oh, that was awkward. I mean, a lot of things happened that date. I got slapped I'm by sure. Josephine, and then Liz <laughs> read me a story of our life. Also, <laughs> Raven Stiletto. Is it weird that I was super into it? When someone's like, hey, listen, I don't know how you're gonna take this, but oh, yeah. I beat the <laughs> Out of my axe. You know, I'm a little terrified, but like, I, at least I know what I'm getting. That leads us to our next question. Do your best Raven impression. She was the first one to tell me about the nanny. Oh, yeah, okay. She's like, Nick, I just, I gotta tell you, I come from humble beginnings, <laughs> and like someone who has a nanny, I just not, I'm not sure that that's the type of woman you're looking for. <laughs> um, and <laughs> she's <laughs> looking out for you. Yeah. Can I ask you something about Andy? Andy and I have irritated each other over the years. Yeah. And I, we've come to a place of, of mutual respect. Do you ever like regret bringing up on After the Final Rose that you two did Every it? day. Every day. Because we're still talking about it. The show has <laughs> changed since that, and it's now more open to talking about sex. I think if you're watching as a fan of the show for years, when they go to the fantasy suite, I'm assuming that's what they're doing. Like They're I not playing they're... checkers. There is such an excitement of being alone with someone and to be able to talk off camera that it almost feels like sex. So according to my calculations, Andy, Caitlin, we know Liz. Ding, ding, ding. And I'm assuming nothing, because I agree with you that maybe the three that make it to the fantasy suite. Ding, ding, ding. He already said he likes sex. So that's six. So, that means that I would have to put your total number, if I had to guess, at 312. People, like, obviously know I've had sex with Keelan Andy. Yeah. And as a result, people assume that I'm this person who just, you know, even talk about this season, I'm some sexual person. Like, which is, I mean, in some ways maybe true, but like, my number is far lower than most people, like, guess. It's only when he's on TV. So lower than 312? <laughs> Way lower. Okay, lower than 20? No. It's 30. lower than 30. Guys, lower than 30. Less lower than 30. Good for Less you. Thank you. It's a good handshake. This is a game we're gonna play, and it's called, What Do You Remember About Night One? Who's that? I know that. Ida Marie. Duh. I know that because she told me I had to call her Ida Marie. And you were like, bye, bitch. Okay, go ahead. Tracy. I'm kidding, don't bleep it. That's Jasmine. That's Brianna. Lauren. Angela. All right, so that means you're down to these two. I'll give you a clue. Oh, mm -hmm. Oh, Canada? <laughs> Don't you cry. Uh, oh, mm -hmm. Oh, say? No. What? Listen to the tune. Oh, oh mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't you cry for, for me. There's uh, Louisiana with a banjo on my... Susanna. How did you know? Good Susanna. Good oh, my God. You have to drink. You didn't know everybody. Ouch. What is the worst and question. best part of being The Bachelor? 
Bachelor Nation is great. They're also very opinionated. And then the best? Well, the chance of finding love. Oh, so good. Good answer. I Oof. have been with him for about a couple hours. I still don't know who he picks, if he picks anyone, how far Corinne goes, if Vanessa wins. All I know is that Rachel's the Bachelorette. You're and awesome, Nick Rachel. came to my cubicle. Thank you so much, and tune in next week. Bye, everybody.